Welcome to Rugby Nets TV. This week we have made our way up to North to National Freeside Ilkley. Here's some key facts on the club. Two seasons ago, Ilkley were playing their rugby in Yorkshire 1. Since then, they've had back-to-back -back promotions and have established themselves as one of the senior clubs in Yorkshire. It's the first time that Ilkley have played their rugby at level 5 and life in National 3 has got off to a good start. They currently sit in 8th place and have only lost two games so far this season. But their biggest test awaits them this Saturday when they'll be taking on newly relegated and current league leaders Huddersfield. In my opinion, Ilkley have already done enough to show that they are in National 3 for the long run. But if they could somehow turn over Huddersfield this Saturday, now that would send out a big, big message to the rest of the teams in the league. Let's head into the club, find out what's going on, have a catch up with some of the players and coaching staff. biggest test of the season so far, probably one of the biggest tests there may be. Yeah. How have you prepared for this game and what's the mood been like in the squad? Uh, mood's been good, we've had a week off last week so we've got boys back on their feet, boys um, coming back from injury and being available again, um, so we're looking in pretty good stead. We've um, caught some glimpses of what they're about with regards to their play and how they play and what they're going to bring, we're not going to bring a big pack so we have to be matching them with that and then just chop them low, go at them and it's just going to be it's going to be a bit of a cup, cup final for us and uh, I can't wait for Saturday, it's going to be absolutely jumping so yeah I want to, want to go at them and from what I've seen they look they look good but um, I'd say I'd say beatable so I don't think they'll go all season and being and beaten so but I'm ready for it, good. I wish you the best of luck. How many hours do you put in per weekend, why do you do it? Uh, oh, I must, oh, no. um, I'm usually down most days in the morning couple of hours and then on the weekend well, on a Saturday I'm here from half seven no sorry half eight until um, six o'clock Saturday evening doesn't go down too well at home but uh, <laughs> but that's it and I enjoy it it's um, it's my life it's I'm retired and it's just I just love it it's great stuff and what does grassroots rugby mean to you it's um, it's like local community, getting all the kids down here. I think we're about 450 kids down on a Sunday, and we say my grandson's down here now as well. So it's, you know, it's just really that is the bee's knees, really. You know, that's, that's grassroots for me. It's, uh, yeah, it's good, good fun. Bobby, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. All right, thank cheers. You, thank you. <laughs> Best moment in your club shirt? Um, bees game. Uh, Birkenhead away. Uh, Ilkley Shield winner. Chef Tigers away. Toughest ground to play in the league. Uh, Clack. Uh, Clack away. Ooh, Clack Eaton. Rosendale. Hardest hitter. Joe Roundtree. Uh, me. Halty. Joe Roundtree. Biggest bench. Uh, Joe Roundtree. Joe Roundtree. Black Hall. Uh, Joe Roundtree. Worst dressed. Uh, Pat Power. Uh, ben McGee. Spalsy. Will Davies. Best and worst dancer. Ooh. Um, worst deckage air, best hutch. Uh, Will Davies. Pat, Power and Will Davies. Uh, Will Davies and deckage air. Who is the longest in the shower? Eddie Brown. Ed Brown. Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. Ilkley have a massive task on their hands this afternoon. Today's opponents have just come down from National 2 North and they're on a mission to go straight back up. 
Huddersfield have yet to lose a game this season and are full of confidence. But there is a defiance in this Ilkley side and they just keep on proving everyone wrong. The pitch is in perfect condition, the Ilkley lads are on top form and this game seems to be the talk of the town. It's all set for a fantastic day of rugby. Two seasons ago you were in Yorkshire 1, yes. you're now playing rugby in National 3. Yeah. How has the club achieved this and is it sustainable? Um, well, we get we by, by checking around, we get the feeling that uh, the very highest an amateur club could go would probably be National Two. Uh, the way the way we've made it happen really is just by networking. I mean, we rely very heavily on the coaches with the people they know to encourage people to come. The players do a good job in pulling people in. Uh, we've we've created a, 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 a liaison and a link with Leeds University. So we do have a link with them and players come from Leeds University to join us. And so it, it's, it's really a network of people working all the time, putting effort in to encourage people to join Ilkley. Uh, because the, the, one thing we can, the one thing we can only offer here, because we don't pay, is a bit of a wow factor and to look after people. So we're trying to create the best facilities, the best coaches, look after the pitches, and, and that's, that's it then. After that, it's please come and... And, and it's, it's, it's about guys enjoying each other's company to play. There's no, there's no contractual pull here. So guys are at liberty, if you like. They go on holiday, uh, they go skiing, they go to weddings, and nobody, nobody nobles them for it. We say, that's the model we sell, and that's the one we stick with. You know? so, so we do need a big squad because of that. We do need a big squad. Back-to-back -back promotions is some achievement. How did you make this possible? Um, to be honest, um, it's in the question, how did I make this possible? I, I didn't make it possible. Uh, a lot of people made it possible, you know. And I've said it all the way through, you know, uh, that uh, um, it's everybody. It's from people serving behind the bar, raising the money, doing the raffle, the lads doing the water boys, the ball boys. Everybody's just chipped in and done their bit. And we've tried to create a nice environment, nice atmosphere for people to come and play under. You know, I, as a player myself, I didn't enjoy playing when I was getting dictated to all the time. And we've tried to create a nice nice environment so that when boys come down they say do you know this is really good and they, they ring the mate up and say this is really good you know you want to come down here and, and it, there's something good going on and, and we just chipped away at it we don't make wholesale changes we just try and get guys in and get the right people in with the right mindset to come down and play at Ilkley and You take on Huddersfield today who have yet to lose a game how do you beat these boys? Um, I, I think if we stick to our structures uh, we cut down on our uh, errors because at times our, our actual um, match play at times hasn't been up to standard. We've sometimes just let teams off the hook, considered relieving the pressure a bit for us, hitting the touch. We've, we've just got to make sure today that we get everything right. You know they're going to be a tough team, and we can't we can't let them live off our mistakes, and we can't keep them in the game. We've got to be clinical today. Um, I mean, you know, as we always are, we're enthusiastic. You know, these guys down here, you know, we're a cast club, we're an amateur club, uh, and they're down here playing for each other. They're all mates. You know, I've got half of Northumbria University team out there as well today, and they just play for each other. And you know, and there's a good bond, and uh, and, and everybody's bought into it in the atmosphere. So uh, we beat them with enthusiasm, and and just having a bit more of a cutting edge. I think today we'll need certainly against a team uh, uh, as good as Huddersfield. We'll have to we'll have to be on the metal today. Rhys, thank you for your time. Best luck for today. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers mate. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.
Joe, tough, tough day at the office. Where was that loss, mate? I think set piece. Scrum line out there were very strong. Um, just our errors, we knew they were going to be clinical, and they were, and they took every sniff chance they got and just grinded the scoreboard over, ticked it over, try, penalty, conversion. Um, but I'm happy with the boys' spirit. Like, I've never seen a broken Ilka side on Slav, and that wasn't broken. We were still there, we are still at the races, and we've just got to rebuild for next week. On to next week, a massive test against Sandal. How are you going to prepare for that after today's loss? It's just about staying tight. It's about staying tight. We'll be tight today. We'll go up in the clubhouse, get a drink together, do the awards, and this week's just going to be massive. But a big rebuild. Um, look up where the errors crept in and, and make sure we don't we don't take those errors to Sandal and we're just going to be tight. Tight line out, tight scrum, uh, tight around the field and, and just minimise all errors. Chris, congratulations on the win. Seven from seven. Fantastic season so far. Yeah, yeah. Much better than last season, like in our opinion. But the boys were together as a unit this year. You know, it started way back in June. You know, a tough pre-season, one of the toughest pre-seasons of our life. You know, it's been tough, but all the boys bought into it. You know, it was grueling, but we got together tight as one, and it's it's paying off now because we were a much better team than where we were last year. I think that's paying dividends this season. Was that the plan? Did you sit down at the start of the season and say, right, we're going to go straight back up? Yeah, massively so. Like a lot of boys were disappointed with last year you know we weren't getting drummed every week but we were just not quite at the races you know a few errors and national two you can't afford to do that so I think a lot of the boys this the club Huddersfield deserve to be in national two and that's where we want to be so step rebuild this year and hopefully go straight back up. Jens thank you very much best of luck for next week. That's it for this week a massive thank you to everyone at Ilkley for allowing us to showcase their club their Rugby Nats Crossbar Challenge will be out on Wednesday at 11am, so please keep a lookout for that. Next show, we're off to Southern Counties' north side, Marlow. Until then. <laughs>